delivered by Rooney. Looking for Burnbaum, back into the mix. Here's Acosta with a chance, a cross goal, and it's into the roof of the net. And DC United are back on level terms, and it's 1-1. Well, we talked about ball to the back. Acosta comes in, he does a little fake. Kai Kamara's diving. Again, free header, little flick, and then you've got to be tighter on him. You can't allow any kind of room to a guy like Acosta in the box. And he gets in there, you can see Tim Howard there, you can see Price there. So, again, far post ball, headed back across, almost like Colorado's goal, 1 1. Costa with his uh, second goal of the year. The yellow cards being dished out. That was uh, Jack Price going into the book. Was that for, for the attempted for the handball? Handball, handball yeah. on the line? Yep, yep, for the attempted handball. Which they are looking to review right now. He's. I tell you, the interesting, it hits his hand, it goes in. If he saves that ball and it doesn't count as a goal, it's a red card. So right now, that's what they're reviewing. Was the ball already in the goal and he put his hand up or was it on the line? Well, they're actually looking at it for a handball from Acosta, from DC's Acosta, oh, for a okay. handball okay. before. So this is what we're checking for now. Luciano Acosta, not Kellen Acosta. So let's have a look, see if there's any hand there from DC United's Acosta. So what we're looking at here. Couldn't tell. Couldn't he's, tell he's got there. his arm out, but that, that's not a... Can't see if there's any yeah. contact there. No. From that angle, it's hard to see because you don't know if it hits his, his shoulder first, then it goes out, or if it hits his hand. Goal. He just pointed, yep. I was going to say, from that angle, it's got to be clear, clear to the VAR, to the video review, that it was a handball, and even we couldn't tell from well, that angle. Well, you couldn't angle. see the ball deviate. Yeah. You, yeah. you saw the arm out, but you didn't know whether yeah. it had made any contact there. So the goal is good. We are 1-1. Jack Price has gone into the book. So Jack Price went in for the handball in the goal, right? Okay. I got to be honest, I didn't I didn't even think twice. I didn't think from here that I saw a deviation of the ball. That's why I never nope. even thought of Acosta uh, getting a yellow card or maybe the goal not counting because he used his hand or his yeah, hand ball would be. Let's uh, head down to the sideline, Lauren Jabara. Thanks, Richard. Yeah, the Rapids have conceded 10 of their last 17 goals in the last 15 minutes of half so far this year. So it kind of proves that they're dropping their intensity a little bit towards the end of the half. It's a critical period to really keep that intensity up, guys. Thanks, Laura. Uh, defending again. There's Durkin on the angle. A cross goal is 2-1. 2-1 from one nil up. The Rapids find themselves 2-1 down. And Chris Durkin with his first goal of the year and his first start of the year. Let's take a look. There's your there's there's a little bit of the issue. Remember we talked about mental mental breakdowns. Look where Sammy Vines is. Sammy Vines is tucked out wide, and if he's that wide, who's filling that gap in there? Sammy Vines is for me he's too far wide. The most dangerous pocket is the pocket between the center back and the left back. They see that pocket. Durkin finds it, buries it home. To me, Sammy Vines leave the guy on the outside, pinch into the middle. Well, also Chiller, let's look at the trend. Seattle. Two goals in a matter of minutes. Yep. Orlando last weekend, yep. four goals, and, and the two goals, yeah. two each, were in a matter of minutes. Yeah. DC United, two goals in a matter of minutes. Yeah. It's those concentration levels having conceded. But, but that's what we talked about through through the pregame or and through the little uh, reviews we've done. It's it's the little tiny mental mistakes defensively that can cost you in a game. Right there was a mental mistake of not pinching and not covering and closing that pocket, cost them a goal. 
the ball going to the far post. No one challenging it. It comes back. There's a free header. Who's marking Acosta, one of the most dangerous players? Again, little tiny lapses at the wrong time. We saw it in Orlando. Can hurt you. Now can Colorado bounce back? Can they get a goal back? Can they fight back and press DC United again before the half's over? And we have the goal credit for the first one. Acosta assisted by Pines and Birnbaum. Pines on his uh, MLS debut. And they often say you're more susceptible to conceding after you've scored. The Rapids at the moment seem to be more susceptible after they've conceded. Yeah. Well, the first thing you do, you know what, in, in, in games is once you get, you score a goal, you, you talk to yourself the next five minutes, let's press. When you get a goal scored against you, let's lock it down for five minutes. Let's make sure we don't give up something silly. So again, just a little mental mistake again. Fell Hyber across goal. What I meant to say there was you're more susceptible once when you've either scored. Way. Sorry, either way. Sorry, either way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Either way. Either way. When you score a goal, the first five minutes, you want to go press the other team because to see if you can get another one. If you're the team that gave up one, you want to make sure you're nice and locked, you're compact. And if you've got to knock the ball upfield 60 yards to get it out of your end, you don't want to give up anything in the first two to three minutes. Is it just me, or does everybody want to go and stick Bill Hamid's tag back into his jersey? It's, stick, <laughs> it's, 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 it's annoying me. I it's saw it it's annoying me. I saw it earlier. I shouldn't let it bother me. Lauren, can you help uh, Bill Hamid at halftime, please? Just tuck his jersey, <laughs> tag in. <laughs> The problem is, is, you're in a game, he doesn't feel it. He has no clue. I've, I've, I've just, hi I've, hi I've highlighted it. I know, now. Poor fella. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, that's it, that's in his turtleneck. That's not even his jersey, so. We'll send a message down to him. Of all the things we should be worried about. I don't really want to talk fashion. Rubio bulldozing his way through, trying to get the return, Hamid. Diving away to his right-hand side. Nimble feet from Diego Rubio. Almost opened up. And that's what Colorado did the first 20 minutes. They were able to press high. And look at this, they win it, they can go right to goal. And I tell you what, great little play here. One little two give, trying to see if he can play with Benny Fellhaber. Just, just a little off there. Pines, these long legs, he can get his leg in there. But Rivi does a nice job. You can see they're trying to play the one-two, just couldn't complete it. Rodriguez, three players around him, still going. Rodriguez, could it be three? It is 3-1. DC United have turned this game right around. And now it's Rodriguez beating Tim Howard for a third time tonight. And the third time in this first 45 minutes. One, let's just talk about an individual play. Look at him go, one, two, three, four Colorado Rapids players. He cuts the ball in, he goes through Tommy Smith, then he flicks it through. That's just an absolutely fantastic individual play. Opara can't get him, Tommy Smith can't get him. Then Tim Howard comes out and can't get it. Again, losing the ball in a, in a rough area, and then all of a sudden cost you. Now you're down three to one before halftime. I'm gonna put this one to you, as a player, Three around to just someone got to watch.